This is the MG-6100 radio from World Star in Hong Kong, 1982. It has these two big industrial carrying handles on it. It uh, has also a strap and two antennas, the right one being marked as for CB. Well, it's an analog radio. It has a digital display and it has a level meter. Farthest to the left is the best for the level. Doubles as a battery meter. I guess to the right is the best for the battery. And it has a light. I'm not sure how well we'll be able to see it here. Better at night, of course. We have our band display of what looks like 10 bands, but really isn't. There's really only six bands on this radio. A couple of them share, like the airwave, the public safety band, and the uh, weather channel all share that band. Short waves share a band, and the TV lower channels and the FM share a band. So you have two, uh, you have a fine tuning dial and a tuning dial. You have two presets for FM stations, which you set here. And wherever you are on any of the bands, if you press one or two, you will go to that preset. And when you want to go back, you can just press your off button and you'll go back to wherever you were on the radio. You have a four inch speaker here and you have your power button on and off. You have your DC or AC power supply. You want that display to be on or off to save batteries you can. AFC on or off or radio or PA system. You have a headphone jack, quarter inch. You have controls for squelch, tone, and volume. And then you have some inputs here for your little earphone. Um, input for the microphone input to work with the PA system. And an antenna, which is really a short wave antenna, um, I guess. And you have four feet. And along the left side, we have our jack for our 12 volt DC power supply stored in the back. Here's the uh, left handle and here's the handle on the right side. That's all that's along this edge of the radio. Here's the back of the radio. Battery compartment etc. Let's check it out more closely. On the back we have our identification of the right antenna as the CB antenna various warnings. We have our identification here which FCC ID allowed me to research it and see it was made in 1982 although this particular version might be an 83 version. Um, inside we have a little compartment here with a couple little obvious clips to put something in but I'm not sure what it is. It's not metallic, it's not it's too big for a 9 volt battery. And everything else is sort of crammed in there. We have our power cord, uh, which I presume is, has been a never used shortwave antenna. Um, the little uh, earphones uh, still stapled. And the DC adapter and the stand for the microphone, which would go in the input jack up front. This is out of its pack, so I'm assuming it was used. You plug this into your input for the PA up front. And when I first got this, it was loaded with these uh, six high-watt batteries. Mindex Battery Works from Hong Kong. These also date back to the early to mid-80s. Uh, there was a little explosion in here, but not too bad. So I cleaned it up. And under here is what I mean about this might be an 83 version of an 82 based radio. There's a 3 there, it could be 1983, but I'm not really sure. Doesn't make a big difference 30 some years later. Alright, let's turn the radio on here. We're starting on AM. Don't get many channels on AM. 
2014, they were number three. That's the top band, by the way. Led the lead on arrests. 2000, after 2014, they were... If you were... Hope sometimes mixed with... Anti-aging and antioxidant support. I never get anything on CB, which is the second one down. By the way, wherever you see green little dots here, you're not going to pick anything up on that band. A quick visual way to identify if you're anywhere close to where you want to be. Kind of convenient. But I never get anything on CB anymore. If I pulled out my little CB radio like I did with the Toshiba radio, I could make it something, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, all right, next band. Almost got something there. Next band will be the shortwave one or two. Let's plug the shortwave antenna in from the back. I'm not going to unravel it, so it probably won't do much, but maybe it'll do a little something. I'm in the day here, so. I think that little Please antenna does does, does do something and probably would do a lot more if I wanted to go through the process of unraveling it and stringing it up higher. So it's good they included that. I don't know if it would help on FM or not, but I don't have any problem with FM. So now we're down on shortwave one. And just for, a, let's say I was listening to shortwave and I wanted to go to my FM preset. That's my first preset. My second preset. And I'm off and I'm back to my shortwave now. So let's go to FM. It seems uptown. Nice having the digital readout. Large selection of diamond necklaces, earrings. Life when I thought it was kind of new. How about our tone? Yeah, I can hear a difference. You know, add a little bass. Six inch fresh value meal or foot long sub for just six dollars. Seven WTLC, this song right here will get you ready for Love and Honor. Nothing on 
nothing to be on TV too. Now we're at the airlines and the uh, weather channel and the public safety band. So they share the last three. The only thing we're on now is the public safety band at the bottom. You can sometimes get the local ham repeater there. Now we're scooting towards the weather band there on the second to the bottom. Decatur, Delaware, Hamilton, Hancock, Hendricks, Henry, Johnson, Madison, Marion, Morgan, Rush, Shelby. Local repeaters down here. Someone's transmitting, I'll get it. Back to, uh, there we go. Looking terrible again. Just five minutes out there now. Hey, I don't know about you, but and that's about it for the last three bands there. that back on the FM. Um, why don't we try the public address system here. Let me see if I can connect this input. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, the input seems to work. Go back to the radio. All right. Well, everything seems to work okay. What channels are still active in 2015 anyway? So it's a pretty good little radio. Um, these were not expensive radios. World Star was not a primo brand. I've even seen these labeled Reader's Digest and stuff like that. So, But for my purposes, it works great. I do like it. And it was only $3. And then the state sale. Um, the World Star MG-6100 from 1982. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.